G'day folks. Today I'd like to talk to you about two different approaches to your investigations. You may not even be aware that there are two different ways to deal with things. And it's all part of the triage process. Think of it as a gateway process to guide your organisation and your investigator if you engage one. It's vitally important to determine which type of investigation you'll need to undertake right from the start. Now the approaches I'm talking about are evidence-based versus outcome-focused. But what does that mean? Investigations are conducted when you're seeking an outcome or a resolution to your particular problem. Good examples of this are things like simple grievances, issues with performance of a staff member, minor conduct that needs to be dealt with after determining what happened, of course, and other investigations that don't require that formal outcome. A cultural view that identifies organisational problems is another good example. A simple matter that while still requiring investigation to determine the facts, but will not result in any formal sanction against a person is outcome focused. These types of investigations can be undertaken internally by appropriately trained staff. Conversely, an evidence-based investigation is one that requires some formality structure and definitely independence. What this investigation seeks is to determine the facts based on the evidence. The relevant standard of proof needs to be determined, whether that's beyond a reasonable doubt, not quite common in workplace matters, or on the balance of probabilities. The rules of procedural fairness must be strictly followed, and generally, the evidence gathered needs to be at a standard that can withstand scrutiny in a court or tribunal. Sometimes I see formal evidence-based investigations being conducted when frankly, there's just no need. All this does is end up costing your organisation time, money and stress it didn't need. And that's why the complaint triage process is so important. Seek advice and determine what type of investigation is needed right from the start. Have the appropriate processes, risk assessments and governance procedures in place and you'll be better placed to determine the best course of action. Stay tuned for more about the differences between these two different methods in upcoming blogs. Take care and bye for now.